all right let's just get right into this video guys this is going to be an amazing blitz video coming at you guys whether you're a pro or a beginner you're going to learn a ton of pro tips coming at you right now um if you don't know who i am they call me the worst heavy gamer guys and i <laughs> get these questions asked to me all the time on stream blitz tips well, how can I improve my score in Blitz? What can I do? So I'm gonna give you guys a bunch of my tips that I normally use. I usually end up somewhere in the top 15 if I really try on uh, Blitzes. Now, this Blitz right here, I already got Yandu, so I don't need to try it, which is a perfect time for me to show you guys all of my tips, put them in one condensed video, so you guys can learn a lot. Now, I'm gonna need you guys to do me one thing. Just pay attention. Put everything you're doing down and pay attention guys because this is gonna go quick there's gonna be a lot of stuff coming at you really really quickly here so let's just get right to it man all right so the number one question that i ask people when they come on my stream is uh how do you blitz do you blitz from the bottom up or do you blitz from the top bottom and the answer that i get quite a bit is uh i blitz from the bottom up wrong right away that's number one problem that you guys are doing right now but it's not all the way wrong. Let me explain. So in order for you to reach 8.3, you have to go through two rotations of your blitz without spending any cores. All right. Tip number one, do not spend cores on trying to reach 8.3. So the object of the blitz is get as many points as you can. And the way you're going to do that is have the highest power team that you can get times the multiplier, however the, the equation works, whatever the formula is that Foxness uses, uh, it's got a lot to do with your team power or your opponent's team power, and it gets you your points in there times the multiplier. Obviously, the higher the multiplier, the higher your points. So meaning you got to get to 8.3 to get the highest multiplier, which is 4. Now, when you get to this point, this is when you can start using your blitz charges and going down your team. Now, here... Now, up to this point, you want to keep going from the bottom to the top. So, at the top of the list, obviously, you have your high power teams. The bottom are going to be your low power teams. While you're starting at the bottom, you're starting at tier 1. The multiplier is very low. You don't want a low multiplier on your top teams. That's why you don't start from the top bottom going up. You start at the bottom, you work your way up, and then you do it again the second time around. Now, once you get to 8.3 and then you're going to do your third rotation or you're going to start using your cores, this is the best way to do it, guys. Now, pay attention because this is where it really gets interesting. The power of your opponent's team is generated by your collection power of your team. So, for example, let's go into my top team here. I'm going to use my defenders, let's say. Now, my defenders generated 88,000 points. Because of their collection power, my opponent's collection power, and at this multiplier. Uh, I can check my opponents here, and these are the three options. They give me 88, 88, and 86. Now, I'm not going to fight with my defenders, though. Here is the interesting part. I will change my team, and I will push the limit as much as I can to try to keep the same opponent. So, my defenders are 332. I got a 321 power armor i got 312 um guardians and then i got a 302 avengers with captain marvel there so i'm gonna push it to this uh captain marvel team here and let's see if i can keep the same teams let's give it a shot it might not it did exactly uh, worked exactly according to plan this is what i do every single blitz guys this is why i'm so successful getting top 15 and above you got to maximize your roster as much as you can even though your roster might not be as big as mine obviously even if it's less, you will be able to beat maybe 50% of the guys above you by implementing these tips. So, as you can see there, I got a 302 team fighting a way higher opponent. Now, here's another trick. You got to be able to beat your opponents. You got to know what you're doing. You got to study your opponents. You got to be good at battles. But this opponent, I know for sure, can take out these guys. And I'm going to be able to get 86,000 points. For the simple reason is that these opponents were generated by my defenders. Now watch what happens when I finish this battle. And then see what how many points this Captain uh, Marvel team is going to be able to get when I'm done with the battle. And as a bonus guys, I'm going to throw in some extra battle footage for you. Because I'm just messing with a guy right now. And let's just go ahead, let's speed up the team here. I'll show you the team in action, how they perform. You always got to be aware of what's going to happen with your opponents. Uh, we already know Kingpin is going to put up the buffs. Up those buffs. Um, Crossbow is going to taunt on his first turn. Jump is going to steal some of these buffs. And then uh, Hand Sensor is going to put everybody into stealth. The first thing you want to do is, if it's possible to take out Crossbones, you want to take out your Crossbones really, really quickly here. He's your number one uh, threat. We're going to go ahead, just because I got Captain Marvel, and I know she dishes out a ton of damage. I put, uh, I use her ultimate on him, do a bunch of damage here. We still got a couple more turns. Take it! Okay, never mind, scratch that. So set. So hand sentry put everybody into stealth. We're going to put our hand sentry into stealth as well. Now, 
Alright, we're gonna talk. Obviously, we're a stealth. Crossbones is very low here, and the next uh, Captain Marvel attack, he will be dead, so we're okay with that. Now we're gonna focus down on Ancestry, because he is the only one that we can attack for now. Boom! We got the stealth. We got the taunt we wanted there, now we can attack him again. Missed, now we can clear out those blocks. Boom! And he's dead. Alright, that's why I focus down Crossbones. I've done this battle too many times, I know the, the sequence of the battle, exactly how it's gonna go. I'm gonna go back into another speed up here, don't need it, but I'm gonna do it. Next up, hmm, let's see if we can potentially take out Black Widow there real quick. Scout the defense up, it's gonna be tough. I'm gonna get AoE, splash damage there. Close, uh, we still have defense up, which is great, but she's still alive. She's almost dead. Now, you always gotta remember, at this point, guys, we're facing some crazy, crazy opponents here. There are 100, and I think 30k above my team right here. So they're so much stronger, and you gotta be really, really careful on what you do here. Yikes! Mmm, we're taunted. That's no bueno. Alright, let's continue on with Yandu. The hand sentry is a pain in my existence. I hate that guy! Alright, let's go. Speed up one more time. If I can get the Captain Marvel in one, two more turns here. After this turn, she can get her, go into her ultimate, which is gonna be really, really useful. Because she's gonna take out all those summons, and she's probably gonna take out Black Widow as well. And at this point, now, I really gotta take this dude out, hand sentry. Because he's just causing too much problems. Alright, speed up one more time here. I think it's gonna come down to Captain Marvel here, guys, and I'm gonna do this attack Yandu with my ult. Ugh! Splash damage on everybody else. Now I'm gonna take out Hand Sentry. Come on, Hand Sentry, die! Alright, now he's dead. She's almost dead, but I'm gonna go reverse. Kingpin, stun. Yikes! I should've taken her out. Boom! Boom! That was actually a really close one, guys. Mistakes were made. I could have done that a lot better, but it doesn't really matter. We got the win. That's all that really mattered here. And check it out. I got 86,000 points added to the total. Now. Let's go back and see what kind of opponent this team can generate. All right, so there you have it, guys. They can only generate 78, 79, 79. As you can see, they cannot generate anywhere close to 86, 88,000. So that is a difference of about 9, 7, 8, 9,000 difference there on just one battle that was able to make up just by doing this method. All right, so that's one quick tip right there. Now, I generated this team by them. Obviously, I can't use, a, use them again. But even if I could, even if I was doing my Blitz Charges, I would not attack this team with them again. Because, like I said before, I take advantage of my team's total collective power by doing this method. Now, I will scroll down and stretch it as far as I can. Let's see if... Let's see if this team right here is able to keep the same opponents. Absolutely, they can. There are 273,000, and I'm fighting 397,000. But these are hand. We can beat them really quickly here. Let's go ahead and do that. Now, you guys can see my method here. It's a simple method, but I guarantee you, a lot of you guys are not implementing this method. Find your opponent by your highest total collection power. Don't battle with that team. Use that team as your base to get your opponent. Go down below. Even... I know everybody can't go down too much, but if you can go down one or two teams, that, that means you can get that amount of points for three, four different times. All right, now let's go ahead into this battle here. And then, what's what happens here? Boom, boom. Once we get the defense down here, um, we already got defense down. I'm going to apply defense down here. Boom! Because I know that Deadpool is going to go next. And he will take out these two guys real quick. Boom. Boom. Not yet. Damn that revive. So pathetic! <sighs> Now that was almost dead, he's dead. That will surely put a dent in my plans. That might even affect his battle here. This is the risk with running this setup, guys. You gotta be really careful, you gotta know what you're doing. Uh, let's attack here. Oh, oh, dead. Now we got... Mmm, she's so powerful at this point. Okay, let's clear her out. One major attack, and then we can get the assist. One more attack and she's dead. Let's heal real quick. Okay, that revive is no good! Oh, thank God for the assist. Now we're just gonna focus down. Oh God! It's coming down to the wire! Two on one. Oh, I think I put a defense down. Sis, one more attack here. One on one. No, the revive. No. No. Well, that was pathetic. That was the worst thing I've ever seen in my entire life. God, how did that happen? Oh my god, sometimes the RNG is just terrible, man. The revives, I can't believe it! But anyways, guys, don't worry about the battling. Let's just focus on the strategy. So as you can see, these guys now have only been able to get 61,000 points, which is not even anywhere close to what I was getting before. But as you can see, the their opponent is a little bit weaker. You're a lot closer before I was facing opponents that are really, really difficult. Now, since I'm so low, I can repeat the process. How do I do it? Because I know that the spider, my uh, brawler's team is not going to generate the same exact team as my defenders because they're so different in power. I will go back into my defenders. And there we have it, guys. Repeat the process. The circle of life. We're back to the beginning now. Defenders, 
uh, have generated 86, 86, 87. They're always around this this area with this kind of um, collection power. Now let's quickly break down why we do this, guys. Because if I fight this team with my defenders, I'll win this battle, right? Then I will have to change teams and I will go into the second best team in there, which will be my power armor. The first battle, the power armor is going to keep the same opponents. But after I beat the same opponents, the power armor will generate a new opponent, which is going to have less. They usually generate about 82, 81, 82, somewhere around there, 83, which means I'm getting less points. And then I would have to face that team with 83, obviously with the next team down, which would be my uh, guardians, right? And then they will generate, generate another team and then so on and so forth. So each battle, I'm literally losing thousands and thousands of points just because I'm not doing this, this proper method. So we have our opponent now generated by the defenders. We'll take advantage of that. We can go down as much as we can. I'm almost pretty sure this is as far as I can take it. I will try to see if I can go down this is over 30 points though yes it's possible so you see amazing 300 power i can battle this team with them and then make up a ton of points because i'm almost 100 percent sure this team cannot generate anywhere close to this they can probably generate around maybe 77 or 76 so almost 10,000 points less that is how drastic it is guys so you see the kind of power that i can make up with this strategy here i I'm taking it really, really low here. That's five teams down. And then uh, I can't do it. So obviously, that's how you do it. I get my opponents. I get their... Use that team. Collective power. Get my opponent. Go as low as I can. And beat that opponent. Then I would go three, four teams down below this one. Beat them. And then go back up to the top. Do it all over again. Until I run out of teams to really do it with. That is the strategy. I always run with this strategy. I am making up literally probably a whole nother rotation that you're probably doing at home every day so you're doing a whole rotation every day i'm probably saving myself that much of time of doing this so that is number one strategy guys very important try that out see if it works for you let me know in the comments if it's working for you guys if you get if you improve on your blitz score come back over here guys and drop a like that's all you gotta do support your boy support the content that's all I ask. Now, let's move over to part number two. And here we have it. Part number two is Ultron. That's it, guys. This guy is unbelievable. Obviously, we all know he's the best, the best hero in the game. But not only that, but how many people out there can tell me right now that they're running 18 or 19 sure-to-win teams? I want to hear it. Do you have 18 or 19 sure-to-win teams? I seriously doubt it. So right now, I am running 15. I got a full total roster of sure to win teams. But where am I getting the next three to four teams from? It's simple. It's Ultron. All I do is I use every bit of my remaining characters with Ultron. It's that simple, guys. He will literally win a battle all on his own. So I ran him with this battle here. These are all the remainders that I had without a team. I take them out. My defenders have a team, power armor have a team, guardians have a team. So all these guys already have their own team. Everybody else I've already used. So they're, uh, they're on cooldown. So what do I do? I scroll down my list to the next four heroes. Boom, Elektra there. She's not on a team. Um, Rescue is on power armor. Kree Oracle right now is not on a team. Boom, we use him. We use Winter Soldier and Bullseye. Why not? I'll take you guys on another battle here. Versus... It doesn't even matter. You know what? Let's go versus defenders. Now, it's only going to cost me five blitz cores. Obviously, five blitz charges is worth it because it's Ultron. You're going to get a ton of extra points. So, you're going to get four to five extra battles depending on how long and how huge your roster is. But it, this is only if you have Ultron, guys. For the guys that don't have Ultron, keep working, guys. You'll get there soon. <laughs> if you have Ultron, this is an easy concept. All the pro guys at the top, they know this simple trick it's so easy use ultron four times pay the blitz charges it's that simple guys i don't know how else i can tell you if you don't have ultron though there is some things you can do uh it takes a little bit more effort though and um i talk about these tips all the time on my stream if you don't know now this is the tricky part here we're facing uh a punisher defenders here it's gonna be tricky to win this but we can do it now we're going to take him out there all right next up we're gonna focus down on iron fist because he is the next dangerous one here. Alright, I need some buffs. Alright, so he's gonna take an Oracle there. That's okay. As long as we've got Ultron, we'll be fine. Alright, summon some more here. They're gonna buff up. 
Alright, we're taunted there, so we're gonna have to attack. Buff, buff, buffaroo, and... Ooh, mistake that out. Ooh, I think I should've hit their double there, but it doesn't even matter, this is game over. Now we can auto-fight this. And now it's auto-fight, it's very simple guys, Ultron literally wins all by himself, and now you get the concept, use all your remaining heroes with Ultron, <laughs> that's it. And then you're able to get 18, 19, um, shorter win teams, in case you have the full roster though, this is, I'm talking to everybody that has literally the full roster, if you don't, other heroes that could come in handy, that could replace Ultron, um, Captain Marvel, she's definitely up there as a, a type of hero that will replace Ultron in a, any team, you can use her on Brawlers, use her on Avengers as you already saw, I used her on, use her on, a, on Kree obviously, you can use her on any really team, she just hits so hard, and uh, she does so much that she can actually help you out and do a couple of extra battles with just her. So that's one hero that you might be able to, to get away with. But that's the strategy, guys. Ultron, and you're done. And there you have it, guys. Those are just a few of my pro tips that I wanted to share with you guys. It helps me out tremendously. Trust me, it's going to help you out to take advantage of your roster. Take advantage of the game's mechanics. That's why they're there. We take advantage of them. We play the game smart. Don't play it dumb. Play smarter, not harder, guys. Remember that. Worst having gamer told you that. Uh, if you want to find me, come check me out on Twitch every single day. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel. We'll be uploading plenty of tips videos regularly, guys, all the time. Um, we've got so much to do. So many heroes coming out. I'm excited. I'm glad you guys are here to watch this. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Till then, have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night.